this conference which, will now be recorded in which uh, uh, four years of uh, experience i have in work there and uh, so i teach both uh, technical and functional both as well so uh, you can just give me a, a, a small introduction about yourself as, as well so that you know like while i'm giving this uh, demo session so based upon your experience skill so that i can match up giving you some uh, relevant examples which can be suitable to your past experience so okay no one is ready to share your experience hi sir good morning stuti here yeah hi hello yeah hi uh, please go ahead yeah yeah actually i carry seven plus years of experience and uh, i began my career as a, uh, an hr generalist i started okay. with the same uh, profile and then okay. uh, after two years i toggled into sap hcm with certification of sap hcm application associate from sap ag germany and okay. then uh, after three and a half years i got an opportunity in success factors with uh, another organization and uh, i have started working in success factors i do carry three years of uh, success factors on cloud experience uh, with the organization yet and i'm certified in two modules within success factors and now okay. uh, according to the business requirement of the organization we are asked to uh, shift ourselves to work day so i'm keenly okay. interested to know about work day what are its modules and how do we get into it and how soon we can like get a grasp over the subject and get on to the platform to work ahead for the business okay so uh, coming to your experience it sound really good and uh, i think uh, work day will be like a very uh, very easy cake work for you because like when you come with sap and uh, uh, success factors experience so i see like you know you have a lot of customizations in that you know in sap success factors or in oracle hcm fusion if you take any other relevant erp uh, softwares you'll be having customizations but when it comes to work day it is more about configurations we'll be talking about so it is something like a uh, a template which is already existing in the system and the only thing is we have to play with the template with the existing given data sources so uh, here you need not to create any data sources but when it comes to sap or oracle or people soft right so you have to create the data sources you have to do the customizations from your end and then you have to start your implementation or the developments but when it comes to work day it is not like that it's purely a configuration kind the only thing is you should just understand the navigation of the work day with your existing knowledge and uh, yeah i think you can uh, probably you know with this kind of experience probably i think like within 10 15 days of time you can totally understand uh, the navigations in workday because if you understand the navigations right you take any erp software so the functionality is going to be same okay so technically in the front end you know the interface is only good, going to get changed why the functionality will not be changed is see functionality depends upon two things one on organization policies organization structure and second one is on the government policies so for work day or for sap government will not change their you know holiday policy leave policy or benefits to the uh, benefits to the residents of that country or like they'll not change any kind of uh, policies you know towards the employees when it comes to the software so whatever the existing organizations policies we have uh, just give me a second. Sure. So are you people able to see my uh, screen in the full screen or in a window size? It's a window size. Okay, uh, Suresh, I think uh, we have to uh, do some settings uh, in this because like from my end, right, I have just shared you the picture. I'm from my end, I'm sharing it in a window size, no, from in a full screen just, size. Just, just press F5. Uh, just give me one second. If not, I'll... Uh, stop sharing screen and i'll connect back again
So how about now? Now it's, it's now it's full screen. Oh, okay. Full screen, uh, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thanks for correcting me. Okay, so when, when we come to this, uh, yeah, thank you. So when we come to this organizational policies or the government policies, right? So it cannot be changed. So when you go for SAP or when you go for uh, Oracle or when you go for any other local ERP vendors or the global ERP vendors, the functionality cannot be changed. And one more thing is when you come with the relevant experience, what will be the cakewalk for you is the scenarios what you would have faced till now might be the scenarios will be very much equivalent to the scenarios which you have worked. You know, so when it comes to work, then the scenarios also will not be changed. So it might be because of the SFTP or transport issue errors you'll be getting, or it might be because of you know the employee input errors might be the issue, or it might be you know because of some date change or because of this leap year, right? Even your your one-time payments, your stock bonus payments, you know, all these dates also will get changed. So these are you know very common issues which you people would have faced already in the in your existing experience and the same will be you know there even in work day also so the only thing like what you people have to learn is about the interface you know learning interface and learning the navigations we call as because navigations is very 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 important in work day and if you don't understand the navigations and the actions it is going to be very difficult because when it comes to the people who are not having any experience in any other ERP or if they're coming from the uh, HR background also, even for them, it is going to be very easy because like, see here, we are not going to talk anything about, you know, some robotic science here. We are going to talk, you know, 99.9999% we are going to talk only about organizations, supervisory organizations, your managers, whom, whom to whom you're reporting to, who is your director, what is the hierarchy levels, what is the employee details, what is the compensation structure, what is the absence management, how we are maintaining that, what is the time off and pay slips and the exit formalities. Means from, from the point of creating an organization to, you know, closing the organization or hiring an employee to, you know, to, uh, you know, to the exit formalities of an employee, you know, whatever the process is there, the HR people, they would have followed it in a, you know, in a traditional way, in a traditional way with some local uh, ERP vendors or, or only as an end user, they might have worked in SAP or in PeopleSoft. But when it comes to work there, uh, the scenario will be you know, a bit different. People, you know, they call it as technical in work day because frankly to say there is no word called technical in work day. I'll tell you like why that word is not there and like how that name has been, you know, popped up in the market and why people started calling it as technical and functional and why they're calling it as techno functional. I'll just give you a brief detail on that. So, you know, because to everyone's understanding, though I know that, you know, it should not be a technical or a techno functional, but, uh, you know, for everyone's understanding, even we have put it as workday techno functional training. So let's start with this, like how, you know, the new softwares are coming up in the market, like uh, on what basis, you know, the developers are also developing the softwares. So that is the first key question which we have to ask ourselves. So we have, you know, most of the people, most of the people would have seen this command prompt screen and you people have, you know, I, I don't know, like if, if something you are 32 plus or 34 plus or 35 plus, you people might have experienced this, uh, you know, black and white screen, or you might have, you know, used it in your schooling days. I have used it in my schooling days when I'm studying one, two, three grades. So I started working on this. Even I used to play some games in my school. I mean, at that point of time, we used to have a big, big, you know, deck kind of uh, computers. So, you know, when you see this, we have started our journey from this. I means the technology has been started from this, like how, you know, it has been evolved. So if you come to this screen, most of the people, you can recollect this. So we used to store that data in a floppy disk. See, storing your data of 5 MB is a very great thing at that point of time. And purchasing 5 MB of floppy disk is something like, you know, it is like a big achievement for you. So when it comes to see, if you see this uh, cassette or music television, all these, all these things are the, you know, inventions which we have seen in our you know in our generation so these are something like advanced things which we have seen 
you know when we were born or you know by the time we were born like these might be you know already have been existed so these are all the things like which we have seen from here you know there is a lot of transformation has been happened within you know this two or three decades of time like how it is happening simple thing is the world is changing the enterprise software in different ways mainly based upon the user expectations see each and every six months or three months or any year so if you see a mobile or a or a, any of the os like uh, either it is a windows os or a mac os or android os or an ios so they are coming up with some you know so, some bug fix and some software enhancements you know they are making it you know the mobility you know they're making the mobility to be you know very easy people used to if you people can remember the time when we are using the mobiles right people used to feel like very comfortable you know while they're using nokia mobile okay so that is why you know nokia has been preferably used by most of the population throughout the globe but you know the days goes on if you see samsung have come up with you know they might not have come up with a better outshell but they have come up with the better options means the user expectation options so from there the nokia downfall has been happened and the samsung has been raised in the market in the same way the user expectations will keep on getting changed or we should predict like what user is expecting in the market like what kind of changes the user wants to have in the market so that point of time work they have thought like you know they have many traditional erps or many you know global erps are there in the market like they thought like how to be unique like how to stand unique in the market and they have a very you know low capital which they can't spread their wings throughout the globe and their budgets are very much limited and uh, their other organization structure is also very much limited and but still they want to start a business because i'll tell you that story sometime you know after some four or five slides like why they want to start this because as these people are you know like experienced only in hcm platform in sorry in erp platform they want to build again the erp platform only so when they started building the erp platform so what are all the challenges they have seen is first thing they can't go to the traditional market and because the offering price in the traditional market by you know if you see in india zo office is very popular because they are giving it with some thousand rupees of subscription and they are giving for three to four users uh you know for each and every organization so it's if work has to come up with that kind of uh traditional softwares it is going to be very tough and they can't survive in the market for a long time and they can't stand unique in the market okay so they have ruled out you know getting into the local market and when they started thinking about the international market already they have the players like in you know, oracle hcm fusion sap success factors and uh, sap hcm is also there in the market at that point of time and there are many other even loss and you know like, there are many other global erp vendors are there so at that point of time what they have thought is like they want to build a platform again with flexibility and feasibility to the customer what flexibility and feasibility they have seen you know reaching to the customer is cloud computing so you know if you see the sap or the people software or let's say fusion all these things are you know system deployed but when it comes to work there it is a purely a cloud it's purely a cloud simple thing as like how you log in uh, into your facebook with just your url id and password the same way you can log in into work there as well hope many of you people would have already seen the screens of work day but why i have mentioned linkedin facebook and google here so this is a very very important uh, uh you know thing which you people have to know workday has been inspired I mean they have taken a lot of architecture inputs and they have taken a lot of uh, help from the developers of linkedin facebook and google because when it comes to the cloud computing the challenges are not going to be that easy first thing is you have to spread your wings throughout the globe if you want to spread your things uh, wings throughout the globe you should have a cloud computing system and you know building a cloud computing system is not that cheap or not that easy so again so and the first challenge and the second challenge is like okay so if they would have uh, developed a software and if they implement the cloud computing erp also the second challenge what they have seen is the security levels now if you see like we have a uh, we have recently seen the issue with microsoft teams and uh, we have recently seen the issue with uh, zoom also as well so maintaining cloud security is not that easy it's really not going to be that easy so but 
so that point of time these are the two biggest challenges like what they thought of yes so according to their budget according to their organization infrastructure with the people management they thought like cloud computing is only the possible way where they can stand unique in the market they have the talent they have already developed the interface they're ready with it but how to get it to the market so that point of time they got the help from microsoft azure and amazon aws so these two people they have come forward to help work there you know to provide their cloud services initially they have provided their cloud services for free of cost you know to spread the workday wings in the market though workday so though microsoft is having microsoft dynamics and uh, amazon is having aws still they have decommissioned their own erp systems and they have started using workday so like why it's because they would have invested a lot of money in you know in uh, creating you know microsoft dynamics and uh, amazon aws erp system you know they would have uh, invested a lot of man hours you know and a lot of money a lot of time they would have you know spent some uh, infrastructure uh, money on it infrastructure or on the physical infrastructure so all that got you know uh, wasted but what they have seen is comparing to their erp system they thought like workday is going to give more profits to them in the next five years of time so like let's see like how they got the profits and uh, why they got the profits so that we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides and if you see now why we are linked why uh, they have taken these three big giant companies as their inspiration is See, if you see LinkedIn, Facebook, and Google, anything, all these three platforms are linked with people's data, are linked with people's data. If you say, like, what is the similarity between Workday, Facebook, and LinkedIn, simple thing is, in LinkedIn, you'll be having organization data. Here, you have the same. And in work, and in, when you have, uh, you'll be having employees data in LinkedIn, here also you'll be having the same. And even the LinkedIn is used as a professional hiring tool by most of the global companies throughout the globe and here also you have the same kind of tool so here what they have seen is like okay they have taken an inspiration you know these platforms as an inspiration like these people are dealing with the people and we are going to dealing with the people and these people they have their payment gateways which is really important to have a good security levels and yes even these people need to have a good security level so they got the architecture information from linkedin facebook and these people Okay, though Workday is not so big comparing to LinkedIn, Facebook data, not in terms of money, I'm telling you, in terms of data, because uh, LinkedIn, Facebook holds, uh, Google holds, like mostly, you know, if any internet user is there, I think any internet user is there, most of the internet users might have been associated with this uh, platforms apart from China, right? So that's what, like, according to the change of the user expectations, the Workday has been evolved and the change in technology is something like everyone wants to use any kind of technology within their fingertip it means it should be accessible in any kind of machines either it in tab or a mobile or a laptop or a desktop you know they want either it is a vpn or any kind of machine or any kind of connection so they want to use this platform to be enabled in any of the machines or any of the software so means they want to make it as a universal one and the cloud computing has made it possible to work there. So because like see they are, they are sitting in one location and they have spread their wings to throughout the globe right now. So that is the power of the cloud. So let's not talk about cloud computing much because this is not like what we are going to get trained. But yes, I'll just give you a you know a small brief on like how and uh, you know how the cloud computing is working uh, if you can see here i mentioned the term is generally used to describe data centers available to many users over the internet simple you know many people have illusions like you know cloud is something like you know which will not be visible or which might be hanging in uh, you know in the clouds or it might be you know the data might be located in the satellites you know many people they have a lot of you know uh, discussions and lot of illusions about the cloud computing. nothing like that either you either you're maintaining the data in your local server or in the cloud server physically some or either anywhere the data center should be present but what happens is when it comes to work day work day has divided the world into five data centers 
uh, we have uh, in US, we have in Atlanta, uh, one in Dublin we have, we have in Canada, we have in UK and we have in Malaysia and there is one more uh, data center is there. So like they have divided the world into five parts and each and every European region will get connected to particular data center. Indian, you know, APAC region will get connected to the Malaysia data center. But whatever the data you have in US region, the same data will be spread over to the next four data centers also as well. Because if anything happens, either might be you know, any kind of flaw happens or any kind of security issues or power outage issues or anything happens, still that users of that particular region if they're not able to access their servers in that that cloud server still they'll be able to access from the other regions data center servers so that is how you know the work the architecture has been interlinked with all the data centers and please uh, remember cloud computing is not something like you know which is not visible it is it is physically the server should be maintained somewhere either in any place and the only thing is we just need to have a internet connection that's it and if you are using the cloud computing what is the beauty is you need not to have a big big machines like you know you need not to spend 40 50 thousand dollar lack of uh, rupees to have a you know to work on the cloud computing even a basic 11,000 rupees of chromebook laptop is also more than enough to work on the cloud computing and one more thing is through the cloud computing you can access from anywhere throughout the globe without traveling though you travel on your personal uh, you know on your personal things and if still if you want to work in different part of the region in the world still you can work and cloud computing is available in all kind of machines means either it is a laptop tab or a desktop so now yeah we we, we just we spoke about a lot of you know uh, small things now let's talk about actually like what work days how the work day was started who have started that so why they have started it like what is the capital share so everything because like why i want to give this introduction to everyone is see if for a very silly thing you know when you buy a small mobile even for if you buy for a five thousand rupees of a mobile or a ten thousand or fifty thousand or one lakh rupees of a mobile you people will you know discuss with many people whether to buy it or not you'll check through online you go through the blogs you'll see the reviews you'll do a lot of research right in the same way when you want to transform yourself you know from your existing career to the new uh, to the you know to, to, to the some new of the platform even you have to do a lot of research and most of the people they are not able to find the data about workday so what kind of data is it is not about the course content or the trainers or not about like who are the partners on all it is about like what is workdays who have started it what is the capitalization of the workday if i get into the workday will i will i be able to survive in this technology for next two decades or for next one decade so what is my future so how my family is going to be de dependent on me so how financially i'll be stable so all these questions should come in your mind so when all these questions come into your mind right it is not only about the course like what you learn it is about you have to learn and understand even about the company of work there so when we come into this, like see, uh, Dave Duffield and Arari Busuri, they have started Workday in 2005 and officially they have launched in 2006. When we say officially they have launched in 2006, we can call it a semi-official. Why? Because like even now, like whatever the R&D is there, right? So from 2006 to 2010, I can't disclose the company names of the Canada. So uh, from the Canada. So the, there are two companies in Canada where always uh, the work they will do their R&D developments and they see like, you know, what and all the flaws are there means in the real time, you know, they do all these things uh, on those two companies. So by 2010, officially they got exposed to the market. So when officially they got exposed to the market, so the helping hand from them is like Amazon and uh, uh, Microsoft it was there. So Amazon and Microsoft, they have spread their, uh, you know, hands. And they have given their hands to help work there so when these people they started using it right so work that has given a challenge that you know you can get back your returns within five years of time by seeing that if you see like most of you people most of you people if you observe you might have got the idea about work day from the year of 2014 or only from 2015 why because many people they know about work day from 20 uh, uh, 2009 and 2010 itself but they are just observing like how the workday is going to perform 
in the in the next five years as like work they have challenged that within next five years in the cloud computing that the that that particular business units will be in the pla in the profit platforms so all the other competitors are waiting and all the other customers are waiting to see like how it is going to happen and yes finally that has been proved in 2014 and 2013 2015 you know like at once most of the clients means most of all the big clients throughout the world are right now associated with workday and if you see that is why from 2015 either it is in us or global market you have seen you know drastic growth for workday from in, from 2015 we can say till 2017 2018 also right if you just know reports the people would have you know hired you but now you know within this couple of years the total scenario has changed it is not something like you, you have to learn only reports you have to know everything in workday because the interface is very simple and the expectations are more and now the people got a good idea on like how the workday works so the people who are with technical background or non-technical background everyone everyone are there very much clear in how you know this workday you know this workday uh, templates are working and how this workday is been coming up with the updated versions with the enhancements and how they are providing the services with the uh, customers or the clients we say so they have understood the total market exposure and that is why even now if you see in the market scenario so each and every person is getting more than one project he's been assigned to more than one project instead of 100 percent billing is he's, he's getting pushed to 200 percent of the billing simple thing is like company wants to get into the profits you know when they when when they are not able to make profits from other business units they want to make the profits from the cloud business unit that too from the work day i mean they want to just compensate it and they want to just balance their balance sheet so work is helping you know companies in all the sense in all the terms even in their financial balance sheets also as well and i think this is the old figure now the work is having nearly about fifteen thousand of capitalization in the market and more than 1500 customers they have right now and mostly like uh, on whom the workday is concentrating workday is giving their partnership or uh, they are giving their uh, i mean they are accepting the customers who are from the product based companies or from the educational institutions or from the charities or from the schools or the universities because see workday is not believing on the service based organizations like you know i don't want to name you know though we people are very much proud about our companies like tcs infosys uh, you know wipro and and about other companies workday is really not interested to give their partnership to any of these companies that is why you see like only accenture capgemini and uh, ibm yeah ibm they don't have you know aggressive hiring but yes accenture uh cap Gemini, they have very much aggressive hiring even deloitte is also having you know aggressive hiring in the market because like see they are you know they are with mix of you know they are into the services they are more into the product development and in the customer level of satisfaction they don't have any issues yes in the balance sheet everyone you know they'll be having you know they'll be doing plus or minus activities like which you know even the work is not bothered about that but the thing is like what they are seeing whether they are loyal to the customers or not whether they are able to you know do the deliveries in time or not only for that particular people they are giving their partnerships and what is the uh, ideology of uh, Adil Busuri is he don't want to give the partnership to this Indian companies because if they train one person with the certification right these people will make mushrooms and they'll and they will make some 10,000 to 1 lakh of employees only on work day and finally these work day tool will get you know it will get vanished from the market so he don't want to give that partnership to these companies and if you see in these companies hardly you can send you can see only 40 to 50 employees who are working only in work day and hardly you can see there there might be only one or two clients you know they might be having like something like real estate clients and all now if you see if any firing is going to happen in this covid situation right i don't want to name the companies but uh, the people who are maintaining you know without partnering the people who are maintaining the uh, real estate clients or the hotels and the resorts or the airlines these people are going to fire most of the employees from the cloud platform it is not only limited to work there from the cloud platform yes so so always make sure be better in choosing the companies and be better in knowing about the customers of their companies also as well
Okay. So why were they successful in the market? So two things. There are only two things like why successful in the market is one is about the cloud computing and the second thing is about you know Workday is coming up with two updated versions every year. Just give me one second. Sorry. Yeah. So Workday is coming up with two updated versions every year. So one version in the month of March, another version in the month of September. So as I told you in the starting, see always you should be able to match to the user expectations. You should satisfy the users. So if you have 100 users and if you get some thousand inputs for each and every version release, that doesn't mean that you have to implement all the thousand because some inputs from the customers might be senseless or some might might take some time you know to implement that check like which and all the feasible things are there and which and all the common things are there which can be used for all the clients take that as a priority and implement it so that is what the funda like what workday is following and that is why workday is successful in the market one is because of cloud computing and second one is because of workday is coming up with two versions every year we'll see like what is the new version so the single line of agenda is always staying up to date in the market so as uh, every one of you know like what is workday workday is a you know a giant erp tool uh, which have uh, uh, three applications one is uh, workday hcm workday finance and workday campus workday campus is something like you know it's mixed of a uh, financials student module and the hcm so why we are implementing workday again this is a very common question so why you know to maintain the organization data to maintain the people's data within the organization to see like you know what is the performance level to see like you know how many employees are you know uh, are working in particular supervisory organization or in particular location to check their performance everything like you know within a single template you can get all the information so in workday you have this workday report and analytics like how good this reports and analytics is like we you know like it is not still popular yet but yes it is going to come you know uh, probably within a year or a couple of years of time it is going to hit very hard in the market and you people will be having good uh, you know packages also and prism analytics already it has been there but you know, it is not much uh, uh, you know exposed into the market or it has not spread its wings to the companies also as well we call it as prism analytics see uh, if you are a ceo of a company if you want if you might have some you know 100 in 100 countries you might have some you know 100 branches so in 100 branches you might have some you know another 100 branches in each and every town something like that in that you might have some you know a thousand employees in each and every branch if you monitor if you want to monitor if you want to monitor an executive in that 100 branch of 100 employees so how you can monitor simple thing is according to the hierarchy levels and or according to the supervisory organization so what we call as a supervisory organizations here the financial sector the marketing sector the it sector the security team the infrastructure team the admin support you'll be having different different departments in your company right so all these departments cannot be you know functional cannot function same so they might be having different roles and responsibilities their activities will be different their performance levels will be different so that compensation structure coming to the roles and responsibilities to the compensation structure everything will be different so when it comes to the sales executor let's talk about a sales executor you know to see his figures like you know ceo you know, he can sit from london or from you know from california he can monitor this person performance so based upon that you know he can understand okay so from uh, from you know from bangalore i see like there is only two percent of growth this year so i can see like uh, from delhi i see like 20 percent of growth this year so he can assess like you know without anyone's input without anyone's means without uh, any cfo inputs or without any cto inputs he can see like how the infrastructure is maintained how the balance sheet is maintained and how you know the company's performance is going on and even he can see the employees performance also as well they can see end to end about you know the total reporting and analytics of in and around of the total company so you know as i said like you know as all these uh, you know big giants in the market like how they were uh, being used in all kind of you know machines and the platforms in the same way how easy it is to use those platforms the same way it will be very much easy for you also to use workday in any kind of the platform 
so this is a very important slide like which you people have to understand like what is real cloud and real value is and why people are moving to work day this is the question which most of you people should question yourself see uh, see now we are going to get iPhone 12 okay so when you iPhone 11 or 12 or something like whatever it is you're going to get some you know a new mobile from iPhone okay when you're going to get a new mobile from iPhone obviously you'll not be you know interested to spend one lakh rupees right and uh, if, if you're fancy enough you know to buy it yes you'll be buying it but when it comes to your requirement if you want to see like whether it is really a reasonable thing to buy or to upgrade that mobile you might check you might be having a checklist you know coming from you know comparing with the hardware or with the OS or with the look feel presence and the touch everything everything you'll be observing you'll see the reviews then only you'll be buying that okay so I already have spent one lakh and again you want to spend one lakh you'll be thinking you know you'll be thinking in n number of ways in the same way you people think like simply the companies will be investing in SAP people soft and in work no not like that because see in SAP or in people soft people would have invested crores of money not only on the man hours they have invested money on the hardware IT infrastructure they have invested on the physical infrastructure they have invested a lot of money on the manpower they have they have used you know like a lot of other dependent resources also as well you know to maintain this infrastructure till date with that much of efforts do anyone wants to ditch that and move to the new vendor who is going to come in the market no because they have invested a lot of money for any company just believe me for any company day-to-day -day running cost is the key is the key you know to maintain the business stable when it comes to work there as I said like you know they have observed the market like what I have seen is let's assume like you have a SAP in your uh, office so if you have an SAP in your office so you should go to office every day and uh, you should have you know at least you know uh, once in a while at you, sh you should go to office you should get connected to your servers you have to update your system from there or already if you have updated you can work from home if not you again you have to go and you have to upgrade and for that you have to maintain your local servers you have to have your network tuning performance tuning and you have to maintain the storage for that so it will be deployed to your server not your machine it will be deployed to your we can call it as a semi cloud it's not like a full cloud technology we can see okay see to maintain all this to maintain the physical infrastructure to maintain the hardware infrastructure and uh, to maintain the physical infrastructure premises you need lot of indirect manpower means when it comes to the cloud technology right the simple thing is you need not to bother about the upgrades network hardware storage patches you know disaster recovery all these things and all but when it comes to other ERPs right all these things has to be maintained by the organization itself apart from buying the apart from buying the other ERP tool like whatever the other ERP tool you name it apart from that they have to maintain all these things but when it comes to work day all this paying job is taken care by the work day that is why work day is not called as a server access that is why it is called as a tenant access so please remember most of the people you might have not known like what is tenant is and most of the people they just call it as an access you know work day access or uh, you know server access it is not called as a server access it is called as a tenant access tenant access is like something like simple you can just re refer to your you know house like if you're if you're giving some uh, you know uh, out shell like you know, if you're renting some portion uh, to any of your uh, tenants right so you call it as a tenant so in the same way workday is just renting you out so workday will never give the ownership of the workday platform Workday is giving the subscription as like how LinkedIn and Facebook is giving you the subscriptions in the same way Workday is also giving you only the subscription. They are not giving you the ownership You can take subscription for a year, a year two years five years ten years or for you know, 20 years It's up to you it depends upon like your you know your future vision So that is why like Workday is called as a tenant they call it as a tenant access for simple example I'll say see when it is cloud platform, right? psychologically and practically there are two things which the employee will get affected and the company also will get affected if we are not going to use the cloud platform at least from now 
what are the two things so you take hyderabad bangalore or mumbai or delhi any place any uh, crowded place minimum it is taking like about 3 hours to 4 hours of your you know of your day to day you know day only in the journey from office to home and from home to office right means minimum from 2 to 4 hours minimum from 2 to 4 hours and again you know you have to work there for 8 hours 9 hours sometimes you might have to stretch even for 10 hours so it's, it's about like you know more than half of the day you're spending only you're spending yourself only for the office hours and when it comes to your personal life six hours you'll be having a sleep the rest four five hours you'll be spending with your parents or with your spouse or with your kids so because of that means i know this is not relevant subject but this is what the work day or the cloud computing people has come forward and presenting about the human psychology and uh, you know because see everything we should preserve in the world it is not about like the pets we have to preserve even we have to preserve ourselves when we have to preserve our brain we have to preserve our energy also right in the same way see because of this four or five hours of contact with the family personally you know many people they're getting divorced many people they're not able to you know uh, you know guide their kids you know, there are a lot of n number of you know uh, psychological things like which they see a breakage in between the relations first thing and when it comes to a company i'll tell you as i told you uh, you know day to day running cost is very much important for any of the company so what is the day to day running cost is okay let's take you know any one of you an example let's take if you have some you know 3 lakhs of employees in your company so when it, uh, when it comes to 3 lakhs of employees company has to provide you the cab and they have to provide you the gate level security they have to provide you the door to door security they have to clean your washrooms they have to maintain the cafeteria they have to clean your uh, uh, desk premises and all floors everything they have to you know give some recreation they have to conduct some recreations to you there are see it is not only about like you going working and you're getting salary it is not only that company is having like there is you know like there are you know many multiple layers which might not be visible to you or which you might not be understanding like you know how much the company is spending on you when you go to office but if the same thing if you're working from home company is not going to hire the manpower they do not to have a big big buildings as in us you can see like two three floors they'll be having an office but still you feel surprised like you know the two three office floor of office might be a client to your company okay so it is something like you know working from home you know doing the cloud job you know makes easy even for a better business and even for the better future also we can say see there, there is a lot of running a simple example i'll say means i tell the same example to everyone because like you know this makes a simple sense of understanding if you're going to office if you're using a tissue and if you're spending you know if the company is spending one rupee on the tissue for one tissue assume if you're having three lakhs employees in your company and if you're spending 3 lakhs rupees per day do you think like is that a small amount no 10 days 30 lakhs one month 90 lakhs just think you're spending about a crore of rupees only on tissues every month that is not a small investment that isn't either it is for a big company or a small company it is not a small investment like i'm just giving you a very simple and a silly example think about you know uh you know the sanitary chemicals the cafeteria maintenance the indirect manpower again okay leave about all these indirect things let's come to your direct thing what about you know maintaining this hardware you know whenever you get a new version in sap right every one year or two years you have to change your laptop and again company has to some spend some 40 50 000 on the laptop if you think if a company is having one lakh of employees and if they have to change all the one lakh of laptops again that is an investment after taking the subscription from SAP or from PeopleSoft, again these people are investing again and again and again. That is why they are not able to make the profits and they are not at least you know able to you know be stable in their balance sheet. That is why cloud computing is the future and cloud computing you know gives you know lot of scope even for the people who wants to you know who wants to explore you know different technologies and who wants to spread their wings to you know uh, by sitting in one place if you want to. Uh, show your talent throughout the globe yes cloud only the cloud computing is making it possible that is why company is seeing within three years to four years of time itself company is seeing you know multiple profits by using cloud computing that is why microsoft and amazon has been moved to work there even now if you see like the recent uh, uh recent even walmart has also moved to work there. 
See, like, you know, what else is remaining in SF or what else is remaining in, you know, uh, PS. So all these, you know, other ERP vendors have already gone down. Still, they are, you know, just giving a support kind of activities. That's it. Like, you know, most of the clients are getting migrated to work there only because of cloud computing because if you say like i want to be like only like a nokia mobile samsung will come and you know grab your opportunity the same thing happened with sap also don't believe though you know this example looks like you know uh, you know uh, you know very small but this is the actual factors if you don't want to change yourself if you don't want to you know give the exposure uh, you know give the exposure to your customers with the ongoing happenings or with the ongoing expectations then i think you need not to be there in the market so that is what even that happened with sap sap is really not interested to move to cloud and they are really not interested in spending investing the money in you know giving the better opportunities or the better balance sheet to the customers means you should have you should give the feasibility you should give the flexibility and you should enhance you know you should come you know with more options to the customers you can you know you can maintain the same but come with cloud computing you know give that subscriptions and you know take you know uh, make hold of your existing clients and maintain the business if if they would have done it work they would have not come here today so that is the biggest mistake so as i told you you can use this workday from any kind of machines or from any kind of platforms so let's talk about this one what is enterprise cloud is so when it comes to enterprise cloud as i told you uh, enterprise cloud total enterprise cloud is maintained only by universities till now because they'll be having the student module hcm module and financial modules you know when they get new students they'll be having all those enrollments in this and uh, to maintain their lectures you know uh, teachers hod's deans details they use this hcm but like for whatever hiring you know they have in their universities they'll be using hcm and when it comes to financials obviously they have to buy you know computers a lot of things lab activity things and they have to buy books you now all these uh, ledgers will be maintaining through financials that is why workday is be having a you know very hit model in the enterprise when it comes to us market and if you see the us market right now slowly uh, you can see like uh, there are about uh, some uh, 150 universities or they have already enrolled with work the all top most 150 universities. I'll show you the list of the universities also. So uh, they have already been associated with them and they are, you know, asking their students to, you know, work on work. They're not hiring from outside. Yes, they are hiring some leads from outside, but, you know, they are taking their students as well, you know, to maintain the work day systems, to maintain the data in the work day systems. So we'll be talking uh, about this implementation in the next coming classes. So the current version, what we are using in Workday is Workday 2020 R1. R is nothing but release one. This is the release version which we got in the month of March. In the month of September, we are going to get a release two. In 2021, it will be 2021 R1. And in September, it will be 2021 R2. But till last year, September, the naming convention means the total name of the version is totally different. It is Workday 31, 32, 33. With last year, September, the Workday 33 version is the last with that particular naming convention. They have just changed the name, but there is no change at all in the interface. There are some small, you know, uh, backend changes are there, but that is negligible, we can say. Apart from the name change, uh, there's no big change in the last six months in Workday. So please remember this. This is this question is very important. In most of the interviews, they'll try to ask you like how many versions you get in Workday every year. One in March and one in September. Which is the current version? It is 2020 R1. And one more important thing is everyone has to work only on the updated versions throughout the globe. Throughout the globe, everyone has to work only on the updated version. There is no point you say like you know you go back and work on the old version nothing you can't do that in work day when it comes to work day everyone has to work only on the new version people can just have a look this is uh, a small uh, you know uh, we can say as a survey from forester if, uh, if people would have known about the forester this is one of the best and big company in giving the better reviews
you can see just the market share of the workday like how it is you know comparing with uh, other windows there is uh, one more review you can see here So these are the few clients which were there. I mean, not the few clients. I can, I, I mean, uh, for me, it's not able to you know, put all 1500 clients to the slides. But yes, I have put all most of uh, known clients to you. It means in your day to day life, you would have seen, known, or heard, or speak about some, you know, big clients, right? I would have named all those clients in this video. So, you know, uh, Dave Griffin is the chairman of Workday and this is what his vision is. He wants to take Workday trainings into colleges and universities to produce graduates who can find great jobs in our industry. In our industry means it is not in Workday, in the cloud platform. So he wants everyone, you know, from the schooling stage itself to start using the cloud platform so that they can get adopted to that cloud platform from the learning stage itself and the future is going to be easy. So means this is what I can say because I see you know SAP is ruling the market from past 20 years and uh, uh, if you ask me if you any means if you enhance yourself with uh, upgradation of uh, workday skills every year I think you can retire yourself with the workday technology from coming to next 20 years 20 25 years workday is going to rule the market there is no doubt in that or yeah workday is going to come up with some new different technologies also as well with like blockchain technology and all in workday so once already the r d has been done on the blockchain technology and it's been very successful and to get in the market it will take some three to four years of time not uh, you know not you think like it can happen within a year of time because to implement the blockchain technology to all the customer platforms they need the data within the blockchain technology so we'll be discussing that in the upcoming classes like why they want to implement it and once they implement it right i think the workday will be the king in the erp market there will be no means at least in terms of hcm i say Right. So there will be no other competitor you can expect in the near coming future. So we will discuss about that in the next upcoming classes like why and why I am very much confident. So when it comes to our training, right, so tech brains, uh, we are offering 50 to 60 days of training period. Like why we are taking that leverage of 10 days is simple. Like see, sometimes you might ask like why can't we complete in 40 days? Why can't we complete in 50 days? Why can't we complete in 60 days? It is not like completing within 10 days, 20 days. See, if you ask me if you can attend two hours a day, right? I can complete maximum within 15 days of time. It is not about that. It is about like how better you are learning, how better you are understanding, how good you are coming up with the questions and how familiar you are getting to work on the work the interface. That is important because whatever you know the training i give the knowledge i speak right so it is more about the people uh, management hierarchy pay pay slips exit hire all these very general things but you people should start pra practicing it and when you start practicing you know about all these known data sources 
you might get a lot of errors means you should get adopt yourself like you know how you got adapted to your mobile while using it you know blindly you can open your settings you can change the display means in your subconscious mind you'll be having the idea like you know how to you know do activities in your mobile in the same way you know you should register the interface of workday also in your subconscious mind that helps you you know to survive or to learn more or to be better in work the ERP system so we'll be providing the seven days of job assistant with the resume building and with interview preparation and job support as a paid support it will be provided only on the demand and when it comes to the course content like what course we are going to teach you here first thing is like the core concepts and business objects custom labels and the basic navigations see don't go with the name basics okay this if you people are not familiar with this four concepts right then workday is really not going to be that easy the name might be just basics but these things are very 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 important and this is the base we should not call it as a basics actually we should call it as a base you know, without this base learning technical or learning functional whatever you the name with you call will be very very difficult So when it comes to workday function, what uh, topics we are going to discuss? Organizations in workday, how we create an organization, and how we create a supervised organization, how we create a hierarchy levels in workday, how we create the staffing models, how we create the jobs and positions within the organization, and how you will be assigning these jobs and positions and these employees to your managers, from the managers to the directors of the company, or to that particular branch or to the particular region or to the particular you know um, global headquarters like how you'll be mapping all these things will be thought and the very important thing is see unfortunately security groups are called as functional but to my experience to my knowledge and uh, you know to my working skills i understand security groups is a cross application in workday please remember security groups as a cross application in workday it means it can be used in functional and it can be used in technical it can be used in workday campus means either in financials or either it even in the workday student also as well security groups is going to be the same you'll be having different kind of securities user based security role based security and the integration based security so when it comes to business process again this is also a cross application one so what is the business process by the name itself you can understand the process you know how to maintain like you know it is not simple like you know you hire an employee and you terminate an employee it's not like that you need certain, you, your company will be having a certain policies there will be a certain procedure you have to get the approvals from your manager and you and you have to see the prerequisites whether you know that is going to get satisfied with your given template and if you're okay with that then only you'll be hiring an employee into the system into the workday system and in the same process you follow then only you'll be terminating an employee also as well you know it is not simply like you think or they say you do it there will be a lot of you know uh, procedures approvals and the process of the steps which you have to follow that is one thing and the second thing is when you build a report or an integration there will be certain set of permissions certain set of rules you know which you have to follow the process the procedure to implement that report or to implement that integration so that is called business process in a short note yeah so people call it as technical but i really don't say it as a technical one let's see like what is there in technical it is reports so we'll be discussing about the simple advanced and matrix reports in this and uh, calculated fields we'll be discussing about there will be some eight functional calculated fields will be there we'll be discussing about that all eight functional calculated fields coming to this integrations eib inbound and outbound like how we are getting the data into the workday system and how we are sending the data from the workday system is called inbound and outbound eib is nothing but enterprise interface builder and this is core connectors like how we are connecting with the third party tools like uh, your company might be making an adp or a huku or an ulti pro we call it as an ultimate you know there might be different payroll vendors are there in the market but you know that um, uh, adp you know, like there are you know many many uh, you know payroll vendors are there in the market like how you want to get associated with them okay so how you know you have to link that you know software vendor to the work day by using the core connectors we can do that we will teach you like how to do that core connectors also as well 
means like by using the core connectors right like you can get the data to your system or you can send the data to the other systems but the thing is like how to bridge that how to connect that you know knowing that is very important and when it comes to studio this is very important and we call whatever you see in the screen right all these three things are called as a cross applications including that security business process all these five will be called as a cross applications this holds a major major employment uh, share in the market right now see uh, learning about reports integrations there are people who are coming up with you know 2017 passed out person is also getting a job in work you don't believe you know with uh, some you know experience with the reports and integration just learning only on that but when it comes to the experience people see being better is always you know staying ahead you know from the crowd okay so what i believe is and when it comes to work the studio many people feel right like you know work the studio is very difficult you know you can't understand that and all like it's going to be really easy like i tell you like how it looks like work the studio looks like a adobe photoshop means you know like you know how to use adobe photo how to you know uh, you know like what adobe photoshop does you can do your drawings you can paint or you can do some you know any some art kind of activities and that you know that but when you see the interface right oh my god you get confused like you don't know like you know which option should you should use it and you know how to draw that and how to scale it how to curve it you don't know because in that palette right you'll be having some hundreds of options to use that and when it comes to studio right in the same way it looks in the same way you'll be having some hundreds of options the only thing is you should get adopted to that particular window if you get adopted to that particular window if you understand all that hundred options this is going to be very easy so what is the difference between the studio and other integrations or the reports is you can do one activity at a time either and when it comes to studio you can do multiple activities multiple data transformations multiple deliveries you can do using through studio that is why most of the people they have demand for workday studio consultants in the market it's most of the clients they're looking for workday studio experts but still they're not able to get and if you see us market who is having the security groups business process and workday studio experience right those people they have a billing from starting 120 dollars per hour to 180 dollars per hour but for the people who are having only reports and integrations experience they are having only 70 to 80 dollars from starting from 60 dollars 60 dollars i think so they are having only that billing uh, yeah and when it comes to bert report bert reports is called as business intelligence reporting tool this is very 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 important concept this is this is very easy but people still feel they call they think like it is a complicated part because you know uh, for understanding rpt design you should put some brain okay so how you give your offer letters you know in your company you might you know edit uh, in a word document and you can and you can convert it to pdf and you might send it to your uh, new hires or you know when you're terminating an employee you might send their uh, you might send their uh, you know relieving letter or their pay slips or whatever is you know whatever documentation in the company can be done through the bird reports hire activities termination activity letters or any company white papers anything anything can be prepared with bird reports but yes it is more similar like how you edit and add and do in microsoft word but you'll be getting the same kind of template and this is also interlinked with the studio itself but you should understand this rpt design means uh, this rpt design is not even a complex part but yes you'll be you, you need to understand some you know navigation options in that that is why i told you in the starting itself that is not a basics that is a base if you don't understand the navigations navigations is one and only the important thing in workday where most of the people they fail to you know succeed mm -hmm. navigations is very much important you know how pe how you people are good in navigation you know navigating your system like if i say like you know where you can see the control panel you go to you know you go to the windows icon you click on settings you open the control panel from there you do a lot of activities see in the subconscious mind you know everything was registered in your mind the same way the work the navigations is, should also get registered in your mind and yes uh, i haven't mentioned in this course details we will be giving you the training on xslt also xslt is a coding language which uh, you know we should have a very basic understanding in that so at least you know uh, for any non technical people or the people who don't have any coding language experience just one hour of training is more than enough because we use only the basics of the xslt we need not to be a coding expert 
but just yeah we have to use that for the xml transformations or you know to send the data to the other systems we just need some basic very basic understanding i'll just take one or two classes also on that so i haven't included in this course details but yes i'll be taking that also as well so this is what uh, about today's session is and if you people have any questions yes uh, you're good to ask me okay no questions so uh suresh if we are good then i think uh, we can wind up the session or uh, if you people hesitate to ask in the group please post your questions to suresh you send it to him or uh, to the team uh, they'll forward those questions to me i'll try to answer that okay please help yourself uh, you know uh, you know be open or talk to the team and uh, you can get the answers uh someone is trying to talk but voice is not audible i think uh, venkat is having some questions venkat yeah venkat think uh... okay uh fine uh nagrajdu <laughs> 